So today I'll be showing you how to set up your Google TV streamer without your phone. Okay, so you're just going to use the remote to set the whole thing up. So the first thing you get when you turn it on or during the setup process is the option to pair your remote. And for that one, it's very simple. If your remote is not paired or it's not working, then just press and hold these two buttons, the home button and the back button, press and hold them for about 10 to 15 seconds until you see a green check mark on your screen. Once you see that, the next thing is to select the language. So I'll select English, United States, because that's the language I want to use. And then you're going to see set up with the Google Home app on your phone, okay? But since we don't want that, you can just use your remote to scroll down and select setup on TV instead. It may take longer and requires typing with the remote, which is fine because we don't want to set up with the phone. So select that. So the first thing you need to do is connect to your Wi-Fi. So select the Wi-Fi network you want to use and then type in the password of your Wi-Fi. So I'm just gonna type mine in. Obviously I need to press shift to get caps lock. And then I'll type the rest of the password. Once you finish typing the password, just go down and select that check mark. And it's gonna connect to your Wi Fi. There you go, mine is connected. The next step is signing in with your Google account. So once again, for this one, you need to use your remote to type. So type in your Gmail account username, which is your Gmail address. And then click on next. Enter your Gmail account password. And then tap on next. Now, if there's any verification required, just go ahead and verify. And then you should see this page where you need to read the terms of service, the play terms of service and privacy policy, and eventually press accept. And then accept the Google services as well. And then it's going to ask you if you want to sign up to help improve Google hardware products and related services. I'll choose no thanks, but that's personal preference. And then it's going to say search across all your apps if you want to or not. Again, that's personal preference. Do you want to activate voice match on this TV? Uh, not now. So I'll select no thanks. And then for personal results, I can turn that on. And then I'll choose a home for my uh, Google TV. Now I already have a home in that account. So I'll just choose this home. And then I'll choose office. You can choose anywhere you want to place it. And then you can choose the apps you want pre-installed. I'm just going to choose uh, Netflix, Prime Video, YouTube Music. And then go to the right and hit confirm. And then allow it to set up. So Google TV TV streamers remote is set up, so I'll just hit continue. Of course, you can change the setup if you want to. So at this point, basically you want to allow your Google TV streamer to download and install the apps you chose and basically just set up depending on how you selected everything. So just be patient and wait for this process to finish up. So at this point, you can scroll down and select go to Google TV. And as you can see, my Google TV is ready, completely set up without using my phone. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. If you found this video useful, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, even subscribe for more tips. And I will talk to you in the next one. Good luck.